Um, hello and welcome everyone to another Mind Colonies Let's Play with the developers stream. <laughs> the stream today got a little bit messed up in terms of time. We were supposed to go online around 15 minutes ago but then the version we had just released didn't start on the server and we had to move around the versions until we then get it to got it to work upload it everywhere test it upload it to the server but now we're on <laughs> okay let me just clean up my other things here, I'm going to join the Discord channel. Perfect. Hi, Odysseus, how are you doing? Hi, Ninja Chipmunk <laughs> from the UK. So, um, our colony is driving quite nicely. Since yesterday, there were no changes actually. I think some add-ons went off shortly after me. So one of our builders is still working here at the plantation and the other one I think at the school. We are at the newest mine colonies version which we just released on Curse and which should be reviewed and accessible for everyone in a relatively short time. And it has a few small fixes <laughs> also for the bugs we had discovered in the last version. So the cost of uh, item frames and armor stands with the armor on them should be applied correctly again. Now we have the feature as well in it where the housing is announced. Then I fixed a small bug today where I noticed that there was a little problem that sometimes workers could be assigned twice to a job. It's like if you have automatic assignment and you just assign a worker at the right moment to a job or two players is click assign on the same moment on different huts, a worker can get two different jobs, which yeah, can cause all kind of weird behavior. So that was fixed as well. Um, it was smooth red sandstone see if there's not anything at all in the warehouse supposedly not although the warehouse just here says we got some smooth red sandstone which is totally inconsistent and I don't really get what's going on so definitely one thing I'm going to do on this weekend is going to download this particular version here and I'm going to test why some of the warehouse content is not being detected so that would be a first time when i'm going to be able to reproduce that so that's going to be neat um some add-ons as far as i know is still on the way to the mesa biome that's why he wasn't able to help me defend against the invading I'll barbarians either so i think it was F3 plus A. Oh yay, that worked. That was much better than re-logging. So. Anti DN IX or however I should pronounce it. How are you doing? Uh, 
Um, hi, Gaikins. So, yeah, the delivery and building system in 112 is very stable, yes. However, the crafting system of the crafters is not particularly stable. So, in that regard, we can't give many good guarantees. However, like the delivery system from the warehouse, as well as the system to integrate with the builder, etc., is working very stable in 112 without any problems. The major problems are only around the craft crafting systems of the crafter, where you can request certain things, and those get with a certain probability stuck in 112, while 115 recovers fairly well from it. And hi, Matthias. How you've been? Yeah, 112 is perfectly fine to play. Um, I think the major cavity of 112 is that it doesn't have the amazing, amazing features um, the 115 version has, as for example the entire research system and all these kinds of things. Those are things that are definitely missing. Right away! So... Apparently our crafter is waiting and she seems to be sick. She went just to the town hall. Let me check out which delivery man is supposed to deliver things. Since we have now a GUI in delivery man hut, we can see what they are currently assigned to. Let's see if that works. Yeah, pick up at the school and then the delivery of the Kasia logs and then a bunch more pickups are ready. Oh, that would be pretty amazing, Ninja. Uh, if you could get your kids to make some little voiceovers for the kid sounds. Would be nice to have some few extra sounds. For example, kids nagging about school or something like that. Yeah, I if I were you, Guy, I would definitely play in the 115 version. Since 115 packs are getting very stable in the last weeks anyway, I think it definitely makes sense to start playing on 115 as well. I don't see any particular reason why you should stick around on 112 by now. There are a lot of good mods that ported to 115 already, enough to make a decent pack out of them. Like there's the Walhelsia pack for example, that has mine colonies in it as well. And there are our m mod packs too. We have a tech mod pack with mine colonies that's working very neatly, for example. So. Hi, Kianan. <laughs> Let's see if he delivered that already. Yes, it seems so. That those are a bunch of tasks delivery men have. That's definitely the D man has to go on the number one list. We need a third D man. <laughs> definitely. Not sure. Like we need a bunch more citizens, but at the same time we need a bunch more delivery men too. So I think first delivery men. And then the other citizen huts. Let me adjust that in the list here too. So we got currently the plantation and then one delivery man hut. And then we'll do the smell to the three. I think that is good. But I want the citizen one first because those are cheap. The other citizen one two up here as well. That would definitely make sense. Those two. I think that's a good order here. And that builder, Barnaby, will probably need a little bit longer before he is going to finish here. He also needs a bunch more smooth red sandstone. And the other one, hopefully, will get soon all the stuff 
for the fences so that it finally finishes the next school update. Um, meanwhile, I can check on this. Right away! Seems to be starting <laughs> to work on this, yes. Uh, since while there is no realistic terrain generation mod, there is this one mod called what was it, Terra Forge, which has pretty amazing biomes as well and works well with biomes of plenty. I think that would be a very decent alternative for the RTG generation for you. Um, yeah, and. Especially on 115, we are having the performance mods that we're also maintaining, which should probably have 115 work even more smoothly with less lag Minecraft wise as well. That should work pretty neat. Um, am I too. I can increase the voice a little bit. Let me just adjust that quickly. here okay is that now better my voice I increased it a slight bit over the current one shouldn't should be less low now okay I'm going to bring a bunch of paper to the school because we've seen that um, with the paper the school is much more efficient in leveling up our kids and our kids leave like with <laughs> Average 10, 11 intelligent. So that is definitely something we would want in our colony. But I need the crafting table first. Um, we have a 115 Patreon server at the moment already, which we call Tech Colonies, where all Patreons are invited and a bunch of Patreons are playing on it already. Um, which is currently our official server, but we are also planning on adding another more vanilla-like server for Patreons too, in the new future. Um, and, um, here, I know, I want to go to sleep. Let's see if actually the sleeping message is going to work out. That's, we're going to see that tested pretty well now. <laughs> yes, the Terraforge mod seems pretty amazing. That's something we are definitely going to put in the next of our mod packs. Let's see. I would think that all of them went to sleep by now. But seemingly they did not. I see a bunch of them walking around. Could be guards. Could be missing citizens. On their way to bad though too. Kind of losing my patience now though. I'm going to bad. Here. Um. Yeah. M most of us developers also are based in Europe, although our server. Like the Patreon server at the moment is based in, uh, let me, I think in the US. And the other server is based in Canada. However, I never had problems even being based in Europe with our of official servers. None of them. Although this server we are playing on right now here is based in Europe as well. Oops. Bringing paper to school. Right away, my lord. Here you yes, got. my lord. We can see the I could help you with that. The new voice lines of our if citizens. So. <laughs> Those sound great. I'm really glad. Um Mm, a recall to house button. Yeah, that's definitely something we could implement. 
That should be fairly easy to do as well. <coughs> Excuse me, let me get some water. <coughs> okay, that. It's when you're not good at drinking and half the water goes down the wrong entrance. <laughs> right so she's away. working, still waiting for the fences. <laughs> yeah, the, the currency stuff is definitely something we're going to add in the future though. Again, back to mine colonies. I've talked about that pretty exhaustively in the last videos already too. But like as a gist of it, we definitely have the plan of adding back this currency system with salaries and these kinds of things. Although however, we do not plan to have it as OP as it ba was back in the day. It just was like infinite stuff for you. I love the smell of fresh tomatoes. I'm kind of losing my patience. This is needing too long. I'm making those myself. What can I do for you? There I'm you go. A roof over my head. Acacia slab and a bit more fences. I know, yes, I got, I know that I got a uh, crafter for that. However, I want this finished because we're kind of very slow. And the crafters are going to be much more useful when we are relatively soon going to implement the prefetching of items. So the builder requests like a bucket of items on starting the build task and when that bucket arrived he's going to uh, request the next bucket etc. That should definitely help with for once making all the crafters busier and much more helpful because they're going to be able to do that while the builder is building and not going to block the builder from achieving the next step. So. What do you mean with a factory type worker? We do have a lot of different crafter workers that craft basically all items. We have, I think, workers for all blocks now. And the only worker that's left is a concrete worker. Like, the only thing that Mine Colonies doesn't provide really yet is concrete in terms of vanilla items. And some desert, uh, no, desert, nether and end items. But in general, of all the overworld items, I think we got pretty much all of them covered by now, which is super neat. Waiting for an X. Okay. Yes, the fences will be made by are made by the sawmill worker, exactly. That's the one I just uh, visited. That's the one that is responsible for doing those. But that one was a bit slow because the delivery man has a enormously full queue. Yes, you still have to put the recipes and the crafters, but we've recently talked a bunch about that. More of that coal today. And yes, my lord. I'll take care of it. our general idea was to make it in a way that you kind of can teach buckets as well. So kind of if you want, you can teach all oak recipes or all spruce recipes and these kinds of things. So I guess our miner is sick at the moment. Yes, my lord. And he's been missing the ingredients for the cure, it seems. I can help with that. He needs kelp. So that's a sad thing. I'm going to get him some kelp then. <laughs> 
so let me get some kelp for this worker. I know there's some kelp around here, isn't there? Isn't that... I know, this year's kelp, right? I was hitting the wrong things. Getting a little bit of the scalp here to make our uh, hospital heater worker happy. So that should be fine. 52 kelp. Maybe overdid it a little bit. <laughs> it's not the most common illness he needs the scalp for. So now we were lucky to not get someone with a serious illness that needs a honeycomb too. Here you go with the kelp. And we got one sick up here too. Ah, that's a problem. One of our delivery men is sick. They don't believe it. What does he need? Let me get some... Yeah, there's the mechanic worker that crafts a bunch of these things as well, a bunch of items. I need those. And I I need carrots. And it did are there carrots in here? No. In here, no. Carrots. In here. Yep. So let me bring those to the delivery man there. Yes, we have like some plans to improve the r recipe at curation. Automatic is not going to be possible. That's just not how how Minecraft works. It's because we can't just simply discover which recipes are useful for which citizens. And for which I items and at the same time we can't really say which ones should be made in your colony like to give you a short explanation imagine your builder needs sticks or needs torches better and for torches the builder also needs sticks now there are um, just to give you an example for sticks there are a a huge Im quantity of different recipes and a, a lot of different planks to produce the sticks. How is the colony going to know which sticks it can pr uh, provide? Now, for example, you have only two dark oak planks in your warehouse. You would like to have for the more rare occasions the builder needed for some high upgraded buildings. Now, those would be gone because by random it might be chosen that one. Now much worse is if there is no dark oak at all in your warehouse. That would mean we would have to go through all these recipes and check if the warehouse and simulate basically if the warehouse can provide one of these recipes. And that would then cause all these problems that would be a huge computing overhead, most likely cause a bunch of lag and be much less efficient than just you teaching the colonists what is the best material for your specific colony type to provide. Okay. Um, let me jump here. Our plantation is finished. Oh wow. Wanting to kill our builder. Wanting to kill Barnaby, that would be just the worst. The plantation is ready. That's probably going to be where the sugar cane. That doesn't say. But this is going to be cactus. This is going to be... Or this? We're going to see. Um, there's another one of those. And yeah, it seems Ruth is on the way home. 
So she might be the last one to get home. We're going to see. The cook just went home as well. So you can see. Those led little legs are going to lead her home soon. We got a guard sleeping on the rails. But yes, the, the idea is then to make it probably like you can research different recipes in the where in the university, like a whole stack of recipes or even allowing you to find in loot boxes some crazy recipes like recipes for stairs that need only have the amount of planks or these kinds of things. So I think there are a lot of very interesting game mechanics we can get out of this. Yeah, but it, imagine the amount of things you would have to select. Like, most players would not see that list, so we would have to be, like, turned off list. And besides that, it is very difficult to actually go through those recipes. Like, Che does a lot of stuff to be able to provide you this list of recipes, actually. <coughs> Okay, husk. Ciao. Oh. oh no. Two. Two of them. <coughs> At different locations in the colony. Well, that is... That's what I would call bad luck. Nah, no, no one here knows the milliner mod. We We don't know it. We neglect its existence. <laughs> Just kidding. We all do know the millinery mod. Um, so. Although the millinery mod is a, a little bit like competition for us, but on the other hand also not really. Because they're not maintained on 115 and have very different game mechanics but they're like the closest to competition there is for our mod in minecraft however they have a very different they're more like a villages upgrade than they are a colony building mod in my view in my point of view My colony is more like about freedom of design and building your own huge colony. While a millionaire village is probably like this corner here of the of the colony, right? So. Um, let me just check here something quickly. Okay, no. No? Some Adams is not hearing me on Discord. Aren't you hearing me? That's weird. Okay. So... Hi, John. <laughs> but yes, uh, millionaire villages are usually like this part of the city here and my colony is a bit more large scale colony planning. However, we have also some millinery like um, things planned. No, no robo robot, and that's bad. Just let me. Okay. That's weird. Okay. Is it better now again? Xbox quality, that can't be good. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, I have, I have an idea what is causing this.
okay. I think now it should be fixed. Sorry, guys. Is this better now? Okay, that should. Sorry. <laughs> I was playing around with the... Yeah, I can I can tune a little bit up. Now it should be on a decent on a decent level now again. Yeah, um I was trying to connect it to um Discord where I'm talking with some addons so some addons can hear me there w when he's talking with me. However, that didn't seem to work out well. <laughs> Yeah, so some addons will have to listen to me via Twitch and always when he says something, wait a few seconds before he hears it. <laughs> I did finish the plantation. Yes. Um, however, there seems to be um, our builder seemed to have place the sign maybe without writing something on it so that seems like a structurized bug for me I have, will have to fix um, tomorrow so I'm going to have to fix that <laughs> yeah intelligence 11 I think you'd be a good plantation worker don't you think Thomas you seem just the kind of guy for this kind of job. So. Um, our school is finishing up. That sounds good. How much is left of this? This seems like it's almost ready. Yeah, I'm going just to give him some uh, sugar cane and that should be fine. Ah. He's working the delivery man, that's great. Let me check what the Barnaby is up to. Hi, Straw Tyler. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Just a moment you said it, I was <laughs> looking at the YouTube chat and really, literally almost falling down into, into the ravine. That was close. I was kind of chinked as well, because the moment you said it, I was focusing on the comments and almost fell down that was a classic ray oh you have no idea if you've been following this uh video series i fall into one of these canyons on average around once an episode and usually like with a huge failed parkour jump attempt It seems we don't have the cactus fence in the warehouse for that. Have you been crafting that, some addons? Um, do we have cactus in here? Talking about that. We have some... Uh, let me gather some cactus then for that. Nah, the sawmill doesn't have the recipe. For the cactus stuff, I completely forgot about that one. Um, so, for anyone who just tuned in, this is the Mind Colonies. Let's play with the developers colony. We've been for a few weeks now setting up this colony here. Mostly streaming it on YouTube and we're currently having a little experiment to see how it plays out on Twitch, how the engagement, etc., is working out. But that seems to be working out pretty fine. So I think there is a good chance that we're going to stay on Twitch with these streams. So that's more the place for streams, where people expect streams to be. Um, if you're enjoying our streams, please don't forget to hit the follow button to be notified about any future streams we're up to. We usually stream around 8, 9 UTC, PM, and always for around an hour, hour 15 minutes, hour and a half. Uh, 
I'm really glad that you're enjoying our our mod MG MLG. Yes, a real stream has to have me jump with a nice <laughs> run before it into a ravine. That's that's the classical ever average episode. Yeah, and if we continue like that, the path to affiliate is going to be relatively quick. The do we do need a bunch more followers for that. So don't forget to click the follow button. So let me bring back all this cactus. Oh, I didn't register my resource scroll yet. I have to do that still. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. So. Is there like and subscribe on on Twitch? I always saw only the sub uh, the subscribe button. Is there a like button too, or is that a YouTube thing? So this here. So follow and favorite it is. <laughs> oh, I do think you're very strong, Jenny. Yes, sir. She is getting adaptability twenty two and athletics twenty three. So her levels, I think, speak for herself. So it's getting night again, so everyone is going to go to sleep quickly. What do we have now? So a huge horde is coming from the northwest. That is northwest. So this time I'm not going to mess this up. I'm going to sleep, go sleep quickly and then I'm going to run there. So run. This can't be happening. In the last episode I totally messed that up as well. And Oh, and a few times I made it like perfectly. So just the moment the raid came in, I jumped into the canyon and gave gave the ra raiders a nice head start, just just to make sure that as many citizens as possible die. So some addons found them. Ah, there they are. But they're pretty far away, so that's pretty lucky. So we can snipe them from up here. Ouch! That was not necessary, some add <laughs> Friendly fire. I have the upper stand, Anakin. You can't win. Yeah. In the air, sniped. <laughs> So, yeah, with two people, even. Are we in hard mode? Are we on hard mode? Or was that normal right now? Yeah, that was hard, even. So two people defending a barbarian raid is fairly easy on hard mode. It gets more difficult on... I had a library, he placed it up here, nice. But the pirate raid is much more challenging in that regard. But alone, it still gets quite the challenge even having all the walls etc. set up. 
Hi, Metabola. How are you doing? Yeah, I do have to build a star stairway up here. That's totally true. You said there's a decoration for that, didn't you? Let me check that out. That would be a good spot, I think. So you said there's a decoration. Acacia. Um. What is this? I think it's not this here. No. Cliff. Cliff staircase. Is it this? It seems a bit high. Let me see that from the top here. So I guess it's this here. That would go in through the mountain a bit too. Now that's the wrong side, isn't it? I think it would be more like this probably, isn't it? Intended. Base. Like this. I guess it's supposed to be this one here. Are there others? Large, medium, small. Ouch. Yeah, that is too small for that. Although it's a bit big because it would go inside the mountain here. A good part. So I'm a bit lazy for that one. So let this check. Yay, we got another delivery man finished and classically no one assigned to it. So let me just... Oh, library next? That's not the building I had in mind. I had in mind to go to the other delivery man, uh, citizen huts here around the colony and click upgrade on those. Another citizen one hut one here to upgrade. Let me check around the colony. Th this episode we are getting some things done I have to say. What is this here? A level 4 one, right? Isn't it? Yeah, that's a level 4 already. Um, is this here level 4 too? Let me just... Nah, that's a level 4 too. Um, so that delivery man hut was finished just now. Um, let me see if we have more housing. Our... <laughs> yeah, that is, can be very useful. And that one here is a level 4 too already, yeah. Usually when it has this hopper here, that means it's on level 4 already. It's a quick way to find that out. I think there was citizen hut around... Ah, here. The builder is working on that, that's great. Do I do... Let me check. I think it was Barnaby working on it. So I have to check what Jennifer... Uh, let me check. Yes, Jennifer is on the library. So let me check what Jenny is up to. Um, okay, that is not so bad. 14 bookshelves, okay. It is quite bad. I'm not a fan of getting all these bookshelves. Let me check how much leather we do have in a colony for that. Leather. Leather. 15. Yeah, that's definitely not enough for the amount of books we need. Yeah, like who has this idea to put books in a library, John? Can you tell me? That? Oh, I have 45 books here. So that should be okay, I guess. 
Or do I need paper for that? But who gave you that idea, John, to get books in a library, John? Who? Who told you about that? Who needs books in libraries? Like, let's be honest, who reads nowadays still? If you got a tablet, can read. No need for a book. I do have to say, I used to be a very heavy reader when I was a kid. Like, <laughs> like I used to read all the Lord of the entire Lord of the Rings series before the age of of ten. And uh, was it? Was it Acacia book or Oak bookshelf? Okay. But basically after I got a computer, it was like books bye bye. <laughs> and I totally for forgot that books exist. Oh, nice. All bookshelves. Weekends again. I'm glad. Oak sign and Oak pressure blade. Let's make those while we're on it. Oak signs. Um, an oak pressure blade. Oh yeah, when uh, when I lived in when I started living in Brazil for some time, I had this big, um, book of Aristoteles with metaphysics. That one was so thick. I used to kill cockroaches with it, just crush them when I threw the Aristoteles at them. I usually said an Aristoteles in my house is responsible for killing the cockroaches. So, let me check what the other things were here in the list. Um, it was in Florianopolis. Acacia stairs and stuff. And glass pans. I think those things should all be in the warehouse already. So. Um, citizens should be coming home relatively soon, all of them again. Yeah. Florianopolis, to be fair, is not um, the entire state um, there has a lot of German and Italian descendants, but Florianopolis itself is more Portuguese flavored, basically. Oh, I almost forgot about this back door. Yes, John. Almost completely forgot about the back door of the warehouse. So the citizens are walking home. Let's see when the last one comes in. Lumberjack. Maybe the miner is the last one. Let's see. But here the fisherman running around. Going to bed. <laughs> yeah, the everyone in bad message should be implemented already. That's what I'm testing right now. However, the problem seems to be that there seems to be not enough beds for everyone. Right away. Like those two lovebirds don't have beds in that citizen hut here. That citizen not only has two beds, which is too bad. Yeah. And that's why the message is not working. They're never sleeping in the bed, actually. And that's basically the weakness of the system. They need to get a room, definitely. Um, I think the level 5 of this hut might have added the additional bed. But yes, that's definitely a problem of that style that we have to fix. 
Because without the bad, they will never. <laughs> so, there is a tavern building where up to four citizens can live, actually. No, no, that. Um, there's not even a space down here for, an, for a bedroom. <coughs> this is the kitchen here. And we got here the little whatever bathroom. And here it's the only bedroom with uh, two beds. This building doesn't have more than that. So, jumping here. Um, actually, they go home, let's say, randomly. <laughs> Harry Potter can live under the stairs, that's true. Um, yeah, level 4 should have 5 beds. But since that building was designed before the 5 bed rule... <laughs> That's why it doesn't have it yet. That's something we will have to fix in the future. Um, yes, the um, up optional upgrades on schematics is actually something we have planned for a while. And the general idea was like to be able to have the warehouse like this and then have like optional upgrades to have little offices for the delivery men or have certain upgrades for more storage so that's definitely something we have planned for the future to have these kinds of upgrade options but that would probably only be like after we got all workers finished and then our builders get bored and then we can have those optional upgrade options because right now they already have so many things to do with all the new workers that I don't want to bother them with more of these kinds of things to build. But yes, the tavern is already in the game, in the 115 version, with this early game housing. So on level 1, the tavern provides you with uh, 4 housing slots to have exactly that early, go early game housing you need for your colony. Exactly. And with it, we increase the limits of barbarians to seven. So barbarians only start coming to your colony after having seven citizens and not five as it was before. Okay, yeah, she's basically finished here. Let's check out how Barnaby is doing. I'm still trying to remember all the names of the citizens, but it's difficult. I know Barnaby and I know Jennifer. The guards are difficult to remember because they die so quickly. <laughs> it's even sad. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, Gabriel for a long while already here our shepherd what's that it main shops focus and strength focus and strength pretty high as well yeah um and yes you can rename citizens you just need an item tag and then you right click shift right click the item oh, tag on a citizen and then hey, that takes care of it. Oh wow! To today. Level thirty-seven and level forty. Lovely day today. You're pretty, pretty the working fisherman. Oh, I got one. No, delivery men only work if there is a warehouse hub in your colony. Basically, they have kind of like a switch in them which tells them I can only work if I have a warehouse so they don't deliver things from the crafters even if there's a crafter and a delivery man they do need a warehouse for that we're waiting for the deliveries of the delivery man 
No, it's two delivery men per level of warehouse, John. We did change that recently. You can have two delivery men per warehouse level, so ten for a fully upgraded warehouse. So, and I'm still waiting for another kid to grow up, so we can assign it finally to our delivery man hut. Oh, that's, oh nice, Nathaniel grew up and wants a job now. And was assigned so quickly to a work building, I couldn't even assign him. Definitely going to turn assignment mode to manual. But yes, the odds to have two kids with the same names, that's quite unlikely, I have to say. I can check here. Nathaniel. Unemployed, it says here. That's weird. Let me turn this on. It's manual. Ah, probably the growing up job did not update on the client side. Oh, two grew up. That's nice. Um, I think on level three, the citizens are going to be quite happy to live in the warehouse too. There you go with Nathaniel. You are a new delivery man now. No, it can't wait until Monday. And now I'm going to walk to the plantation and assign a plantation worker there as well. Oh, I'm happy to get that one going. Oh, Thomas, I wanted for plantation. I completely forgot about that one. <laughs> I completely forgot that, that I had mentioned that. Then I'm obviously going to hold my word. And I'm going to unassign Thomas from the delivery man position and actually going to hire him for plantation. I really did say that I'm going to uh, assign him to the plantation. Ah, Thomas was plantation. Yes, that is fine. Is there even a good match in terms of skills for that? I did promise him. Yeah. So, let me run there. Yep. There we go. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Trying to read the screen and walking over the bridge it did not work out. So. Everyone just waiting and like now I can play in peace. Some add-ons, did you hire Thomas somewhere? Oh no, no pirate raid, please. No pirate. I'm really praying. Every episode I'm praying for that. Yes. There you got a guard. <laughs> Layla is going to be the guard then. I'm going to hire her here. This is not a bad guard for starters. I'm going to let some addons hire her as a guard though. He was so psyched to get more people in the army and have them killed before they each reach marriage age. Right away, my lord. I got a bunch of children assigned to this school. Yeah. Usually the best way to avoid pirates to go to your workers is build your colony just far away from water and then you don't get pirate raids that's the best method to avoid that 
But yes, the jungle building style probably is a re pretty good defense as well. Don't need walls there. What's it today, then? Still waiting for the deliveries. So let me check for those. For that delivery man. So. This one here is the delivery man hut. Oh wow. We need more delivery man. Can you see this? Huge stack of requests assigned to him. We need more. Yeah, the hot blocks not rendering. Please report it to Optifine. Please. And, and be insistent about that. Really tell them that they have to fix this. Because we literally get like 10 complaints a day. Like now I read 10 complaints a day. Probably we get like 50 complaints a day that those are not rendering completely. But that's not our fault. That's Optifine's fault. Because Optifine did not implement the multi-layer models of Forge. So Optifine is not compatible yet with Forge and not Mine Colonies is not compatible with Optifine. Uh, yeah, and you can always comply to Optifine. The researcher got killed? I don't believe it. He was one of our smartest men in our colony. That is so disappointing. Um, that one dropped a bunch of stuff. Here you go. You take it with you wherever you're heading. And I have to fix my bow before that one breaks apart. That would be sad because that's a good bow. Um, and I got a bunch of chunk. Let, let me drop that chunk in the colony. Just I'm going to drop this chunk somewhere. There you go. So I'm going to drop it here. All this stuff. The worker dropped. That should be fine. Here you go. Um. Yeah, not smart enough to dox, uh, dodge an arrow. Maybe too focused on his intense studies for the betterment of the entire... This world, at least. <laughs> okay. Um, what did I want to get here? It was important. It was my bow. Yes. Do I have any other bows here? Yeah. To get the bow here, I'm going to upgrade it with that. That should work to fix a bow, right? Should mix it with another bow. Good as new. Hey, I imagine. I imagine. I'm falling into these ravines all the time and I'm only reading his chat. Imagine if you're thinking about intense things. I'm going to do my best work for you. So, the work going? as you can see, our tech colonies <gasps> pack was updated as well. So we are going to update our tech colonies pattern server today with this mine colonies version we are on right now here. <laughs> so. Okay. Let's see if this queue is filling up slowly. Slowly. The other delivery man is still like getting his act together. But we need another delivery man hut. I think that's there's no way around that. And look at this. I'm going to build 
another delivery man hat. Let me just get the boots. Yes, I did upload the fixed version to Curse. I need some leather boots. So those I can then use to build another delivery man hat because those queues are just enormous in the delivery man hat. And even though now we just turned off the automatic gathering, we're seeing how taxing such a big colony is for the colony. What can I do for you? If you say so. Did he turn on milk? No, we don't want collect milk. If you say so. We do want wheat though. What can I do for you? That's your design. Nope. He's out of wheat. So we need more farmers too. So our colony is starting to get to its limits in all edges and corners. <laughs> we need more guards, we need a deplantation worker, we need more delivery men. What can I do? Oh, you got 14 sugarcane already. So he's working. Um The question is where Um, I'm feeling like the farmer is not providing. He got a bunch of seeds with him, so he must be getting them here. Yeah, we would have been much better if our colony wouldn't have been wiped out once, like 80% of all our citizens, twice around 30 of our guards, and then every night around three of our guards from arrows. <laughs> but we are playing on hard mode, so... And I think it's a good thing, like, playing on hard mode, we're seeing kind of the cavities of my colonies and, like, stretching it to the most difficult level, and we can actually see where the difficulties of players lied and can improve on these things. I think that's very important lesson to learn too. No, um, the farmer only works on one Y level, so that would not work well out, would not work out well. Um, yay, we got a citizen hut upgrade. Let's already start the next level. Start the next level one building. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to upgrade this here right away to level two. Um, we do have some plans in the future to add some dynamicity to the fields. So the general idea was really to have something like a setting here in the field where you can select which slots you want to, um, like which area you want to have taken care of here. And you can see in every direction and then can you can select uh, the distance, etc. And that would allow us to have these different height level fields as well. Yeah, quadrants, exactly. Um, yes, the lumberjack does have a range, exactly. However, you can use the tool provided in the, in the uh, lumberjack and assign him a certain area and that should ignore the range as far as I know and I know. I'm using the firewolf, yeah, not direwolf, firewolf texture pack and the sales shaders. And I would basically like the default size of a field and then you would be able to specify it more uh, thoroughly and then that would be saved in the tile entity 
so that um, you builders can make specific fields with specific layouts like rice fields and then players don't have to do anything and just can to you can use those specific fields the builders provide so but yes it's all we have a lot of plans but we don't have enough coders nor enough time to realize all of them so we do always appreciate newer developers texture artists etc modelers in our mod so exactly that would allow an income field easily as well uh, look at this list it's just one day and that list is full as well uh, but clicking on 30 blocks might be difficult too but yes we will have to figure something out in that regard let me see if you delivered my shoes already nope it seems there are no shoes left and we got a new potential victim for a pirate raid guard I mean oh we do librarians are actually just leveling up their intelligence we can't afford that at the moment we do need all our workers to improve their skills mm -hmm. uh, we do a thing we have to think about some nice nice ways to handle that that probably be a setting to just turn on all of them and then you just turn off those you don't want and then probably do something like a button that you can click off and on an entire row that should be fairly easy to implement like turn off and on an entire row and then turn on and turn off all of them and that should be all you need and then like individual clicks if you want to exclude some blocks but that should be fairly easy to handle then. Oh yes, <laughs> our fisherman also has a mending rod and that is just the best thing that can happen to your colony. <laughs> I definitely agree. We could render this visually as well. That was close. Ah, everyone is mourning because of our researcher that died. Everyone is now sad in our colony. Yes, my lord. You wanted a shovel? Yes, sir. Here you go. Everyone else is just sad. And I need a new shovel. I'm also sad. Okay. There I go. I got a new shovel. Let's just check how the research was actually going. We had three researches at the university. So we had three researches going as far as I know. Let me check out how those are going. We started in the last episode. Ed Enchanter needs a bunch of books to level up his levels and then he can enchant um, those um, mysterious enchanting books for you. Mine colonies mobs drop. Okay, those are two still running. And the other one, was it civilian? Yes, the citizen cap upgrade here. But yes. Yes, research 
continues also during morning, fortunately. <laughs> it does look similar to the enchanting block. I did, um, it basically only has a slightly different texture. And what do you need? You needed a sh Both of you needed a shovel, that's funny. So I'm going to give you my other shovel. Yes, sir. So. So let me handle that. So. And now I used all the sticks that seemed to worked out nice. They do make a cute couple, I have to say. Chenny and Barnaby. <sighs> so. Heli and Grafton. We can check if there are some kits of a Heli or Grafton in our colony. So Godfrey's are relatively big in our colonies. Grace <sighs> and Good are big. But Grafton, Grafton, and Helly, was it? Jennifer Helly? Jennifer, yeah, we got an one Helly here, I think it was. Sophia Helly, but those is the mother of Jennifer Helly. So, Grafton and Helly. Our cute couple was not productive yet. <laughs> yeah, they get the, their names from one of their parents, basically. So you can basically see where they come from. At least one parent. We do plan in the future to add a bit more information that you so can you can see the entire family tree. I think that would be some neat information to have. And we do have some plans to have your uh, workers discover random nice recipes for your colony like randomly finding a way to produce slabs with only one block and getting four slabs out of it or something like this um a uh, player marriage is not uh, yet planned but maybe one day but at the moment we don't have actually even real marriage we just have like people who live together might get some kids together so that would have to happen first for that to be a thing, right? Ah. Okay. And I can assign the next one here then, I guess. Yeah, that's where most people come from when they ask us to add marriage. It's, oh, I played Minecraft Come to Life and they have marriage. Will you in implement it as well? So I know we don't have it really planned, but maybe someday if someone comes in and implements a whole merit system, I'm not going to object, most likely. Unless it gets weird, then I will object. I'm always worried about earthquakes, you know? Oh, almost. Only missing one more request of this. Our delivery men are totally overworked. Ouch. Hey, let me jump up this lazy mountain and check how the library looks like. Yeah, there's not much going on yet with the library here. That's why he needs a shovel. And there's a bunch of stuff around to remove yet. I know that he's not going to remove this part here, so I'm going to remove that one myself. It's fairly weird already, so. And as it gets really weird, I don't have a big problem with it. P 
people like a little bit of RPG. So that helped, I think. So I could set the farm next to the library, but it wouldn't be very like having a library up here makes sense, but a farm does not may really make sense. Farm I would probably more place like increase the wall here to the back and put here in a acacia farm here in the back. I think that would make more sense having a farm around this area here or around this here. So um we are already over one hour in the stream. Um our colony has progressed I think pretty nicely in this episode. Got the plantation finished, the school is upgraded, a bunch of kids are growing up and are being assigned to work. We got a third delivery man and we definitely need a fourth one. We will need to expand some boundaries in the future. Potentially here a little bit in the desert to get an archery going here next to the combat academy. Um, and potentially on the other side of the hill here to get a farmer. We could maybe expand here a little bit the wall to get it going a bit from this mountain. Um, yeah, if you enjoy the stream, don't forget to follow and I hope you're going to join us in, in the next stream. We usually stream around 8 and 9 UTC, around 5-6 times a week. So I'm going to see you guys the next time. Ciao, ciao. And yeah, that's true. Probably going to just build a second wall instead of dismantling the wall. That's true. <laughs>